In this video we're going to talk about the RTZD40 probe. Uh, this is a differential probe. Um, it's got a 4 gig bandwidth uh, with about a 1 mega ohm input impedance uh, with 0.4 picofarads of capacitance on there. So quite low loading effects and so on on your signals and things. Um, the good thing about these are, as you can see, the plus and minus, they're completely differential. They have got a variable pitch width on there, so you can actually you can actually take them off and then add accessories to it. So I've got one which you can actually then change the pitch width. So by just wearing one of those angles, then you can change uh, where exactly you are measuring on. So you've got various different zones, ICs that you want to trigger on or look at and so on things, you can just quickly change that and things. There are different ones as well, these particular ones are the circular ones, you get these ones move them to the side so you can actually see their the pitch width and they've got a little bit of uh, resistance on there as well so you can actually see and check and see that you actually really actually plugged it in. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Now I've got an LVDS board on here so can change my pitch width and then put that on there and then we can start to see that we've got a a decent signal. Now these can be used as single ended as well so you can actually move that across but you can actually see that we've got a true differential signal going through there. What the probe also has is a uh, built-in probe meter so again on the uh, in in the scope itself, so if you go into the probe setup, you see that the scope actually recognizes it, and it's got a probe meter there, which gives you um, what exactly uh, offset there is, so you can actually see how much of differential or common mode voltage there is, or single ended, for example, if you've actually configured it that way. So you can actually see very quickly, regardless of the scope setup, how much offset there is or common mode voltage there is, and so on. Um, also, the probe additionally has, if I just move that that way, you see there is a little button there. Um, so this is for instances when you've got um, multiple probes in your finger and you're trying to probe every single thing around the board itself, then um, you have to either call your friend or um, shout out with um, somebody else or use your, thing, um, use your nose, for example, to actually start and stop the, the scope, for example. Um, so you can press that button there and you see that the scope, the little green uh, and red lights flashing there, so I've started and stopped my measurements uh, and I can use that to actually toggle between. Uh, now that particular button can be configured, so again if I go into the probe setup you'll see here micro button and it has a few different uh, functions that you can actually select and one of my favorite ones is the run single, so you can actually just select that ahead and put that in the corner so you can press that and then you get a fairly few cycles coming through so you can move that uh, probe around the board and look at different signals and just take single shot measurements of those 